Well, so we're attempting to pick along. We got that feel done from the video yesterday. We thought that was the worst field. Well, we found a new worst one. Different brand and everything. It don't matter what brand it is. It all went down. Um, it just got really freaking windy here. I don't know what else to say. One week ago today. You drive around. It's only like this hilltop and the next one and the next one. That's about it. This little area here where we have some of our corn in. But yeah. It's one thing when your corn goes down halfway through the growing season, but when it's a week from harvest, that sucks. See that? They're all just snapped off. And really, we need the corn reel on. We have one. Uh, it's for a four row. That's when we used to have a four row. We had all our corn blown over early on. But I don't know. For the little bit we got, is it worth digging it out? Does it take a little, little while to dig it out? Um, order the pieces to make it a six, mount it, or do you just suffer through the little bit there is? Sometimes you rock that, you can get them. Come into the corn head, because the reel will just pull that in. I'm thinking I'm going to have to get out here and scoop it back on for the fourth time in a round and a half. I went down and I'm almost halfway back. Sometimes it'll feed in, but it's not going to happen this time. So fourth time and we got half a hopper at that. Good to go for a little bit. It snapped off between four inches and a foot off the ground. And the top of the plant is just laying on the ground. You gotta get the snoots underneath it. And then it comes in the corn head, it just snaps off and then sits on top of the snoots. But yeah. It is what it is, I guess. That's just what's going on. You know, not the whole pass along the field is like this, but, you know, you got a spot like this, pretty much everything is on the ground here. Worse than what we did yesterday. Now, I look over there, I don't see too many ears on the ground. So, I'd say we would pick up 90% of it. But we're running the corn head into the dirt, literally, to get it picked up. And you gotta get out and scoop it in. See, there you go. We're almost through that terrible spot. It's just not gonna do it. Maybe it'll come in if I rock it. No. Got a little bit. Got it off. Now we're going again. I made an a... When I knew this corn was down, before we even started, I used the cross auger on the corn head. It was all the way back. I pushed it as far forward as I could to get it closer. Because I know last year we had... Last year we had gooseneck corn, and we had some problems, but I think this might be worse than gooseneck corn. Uh, the only plus here is I can see where the row is. Last year I couldn't, but that's about it. We're almost through the bad section, right on top of the hill there. See up here it's not as bad. You got some, but it's not every plant. We're combining a mile an hour or less through them bad spots. 
And where it's good, you can go probably three mile an hour, no problem. Well, it slows you down a little bit. Now the go one's getting pretty good here. Well, 2.9 right now. Feeding a lot of trash because it's some brittle stuff. But what do you do at this point? Still got to run a snoot slow in this stuff because every here and there there's corn plants tipped over. Got to get them in the head. See, this would be fun. Going this fast, three, two to three mile an hour, not one. Two thirds of the way across the field is terrible. But the one third is pretty nice. Well, I'll keep picking and I'll stop complaining. That stuff over there we combined with 20%. Yesterday was what, the 26th of September? So like, for that, 26th of September, that's pretty damn dry. Usually that time would be probably 25, 26. And then this week is supposed to be mid 80s all week. I mean, this corn is gonna be dry, getting too dry too fast. The drier it is, the more head loss you're gonna have and so on like that. Got some corn stalks in the sample, but when you're taking in the whole freaking plant, I mean, what can you do at this point? See here we're in the worst spot, like you're not supposed to be able to walk through your cornfield like this. I mean, uh, like, here's the ear, they're basically touching the ground about. Here's the corn head. And this spot was just like that. And honestly, it don't look bad. Like, you got some current on the ground. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Like right here, here's an ear. You're gonna lose some, but. Give that one a chance, but. Yeah, it's real nice. Real nice going here. Perfect. But it's not really stringy here. Like, we're getting it in the rolls, chewing it up pretty good, so. Shouldn't be a problem for next to you. So it's the next day, Dad got yeah, most of that field done yet, or today, I guess, until this far left snoot got rolled underneath, so I had to put the end snoot on new, and of course it's the one with the cone on it, so get all that to fit right, never quite did, but got it to be able to work, that took an hour and a half, probably closer to two, and to get a little bit full, we're just gonna start picking some good corn here and we'll finish the down corn tomorrow. It's pretty nice going two and a half mile an hour. I don't know what else to say about that. It's pretty nice. I don't have to have the corn head so close to the ground. A lot better yielding corn. Looks pretty good, so not bad, not bad. Here. Uh, well, it's night three of this video, which is the last one in this video. Dad got all the down corn done today. So now we're just doing the good corn before it goes down, I guess. Just gonna do this whole farm, we'll be done with it. But this short little field left, and then we got a big, bigger one over there. 25 acres. That'll be some really damn good corn there. I think it will. We'll find out when the combine comes through. But, uh, yeah, so the rows in the field go one direction for a while, then they go to the next direction, try to stay in contour. It's always fun when you go to combine. Way better than other stuff. If you look 
close, you'll see a couple plants kind of leaned over, but the suits can easily pick, scoop that up. So. Finally got through the bad stuff. Picking good corn, hopefully for the rest of the year, as long as they don't get blown 